Hello, my name is Paula. I'm a PhD student at PUC Rio and I'm conducting my research at LMMP. For my thesis, I'm developing a compositional pole network model for gas condensate flow, and my advisor is Marcio Carvalho. So, the subject of my research is gas condensate reservoirs and, more specifically, their flow performance issues. What those reservoirs have in particular is that they undergo a transition from single phase flow to two phase flow during depletion, which I'm going to explain here. So here we have a phase diagram of the reservoir mixture and the green arrow represents the reservoir as a time of depletion. So in the beginning of the prediction, we still have relatively high pressure levels and we are in the single phase region where there's only gas flowing from the reservoir to the well bore. However, as the depletion proceeds, we enter the two phase region where condensate dropout takes place. So now what happens in the reservoir is that far from the well, we still may have that single phase gas flow. However, close to the well, we will have a two phase gas condensate flow. And this is a problem because the condensate blocks many of the gas flowing paths and reduces a lot of the well productivity in a phenomenon known as condensate blockage. So in this context, our goal is to develop a tool to predict this gas flow impairment so that we can generate data for production estimation, like relative permeability curves, and also how to line optimal production strategies. Now moving to methodology, our idea was to develop a dynamic compositional core network model for gas condensate flow. And to do this, we've implemented in the model phase equilibrium calculations with a PT flash using the Penguin Robinson equation of state and also we've implemented flow patterns that were based on micromodel visualization. With this, we believe that we've achieved a model with which we can analyze the severity of condensate blockage for different combinations of porous structures and plate compositions. Now I'm gonna just briefly describe some of the results we have so far. We started by trying to validate this model against experiments, and we did this by trying to match relative permeability curves like this one here, at different flow rates and different differential tension values. And what is interesting about this model is that it provides you a lot of data for you to try to understand those curves. For instance, we can analyze for each of those saturation points, which capillaries are open to gas flow, which capillaries are blocked with liquid. And also we could analyze at each of those points the current composition in the model since the composition is dynamic due to uh, heavy hydrocarbon accumulation. What we are doing now is evaluating some AUR methods for gas condensate reservoirs, such as variability alteration for condensate banking prevention and condensate banking removal with gas injection. So I hope I could give a brief review of everything I'm doing. And finally, I would like to thank all the financial agencies involved in my research.